Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie H. You know, I have to admit, it's good to see that every so often, more people are subscribing to this channel. I thank those of you who have, and hope you encourage others who are interested in the Bible to do so as well. You provide a real encouragement, and a reason for me to keep producing the show. However, let us see if we can get 25 subscribers by the time I finish reading the book of Exodus on the 6th of October 2013. I really think that would be a stunning accomplishment, and a real sign that the Bible is as relevant today as it has ever been. Don't forget to check out the website at www.dailyvisualbible.co.uk, especially the new links page, which will have links to some very important sites to help to show that the Word of God is needed in these modern times. Now let's do the right thing, and open God's Word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your Word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a best understanding of you. Amen. Exodus, chapter 33. Yahweh spoke to Moses. Depart, go up from here, you and the people that you have brought up, as the land of Egypt, to the land of which I swore to Abraham, to Isaac and to Jacob, saying, I will give it to your offspring. I will send an angel before you, and I will drive out the Canaanite, the Amorite, and the Hittite, and the Perizzite, the Hivite, and the Jebusite, to a land flowing with milk and honey. For I will not go up among you, for you are a stiff-necked people, in case I destroy them on the way. When the people heard these disturbing words, they mourned, and no one put on this jewelry. He always said to Moses, Tell the children of Israel, you are a stiff-necked people. If I were to go up into the middle of you, for one moment I would destroy you. Therefore now, take off your jewelry from you, that I may know what to do to you. The children of Israel stripped themselves of the jewelry from Mount Hobron onward. Now Moses used to take the tent and to pitch outside the camp, far away from the camp, and he called it the tent of meeting. Everyone who saw Yahweh went out to the tent of meeting, which was outside the camp. When Moses went out to the tent, that all the people rose up and stood, everyone at their tent door and watched Moses, until he had gone into the tent. When Moses entered into the tent, the pillar of cloud descended, stood at the door of the tent and spoke with Moses. All the people saw the pillar of cloud stand at the door of the tent, and all the people rose up and worshipped everyone at their tent door. He always spoke to Moses face to face. As a man speaks to his friend, he turned again into the camp, where certain Joshua, the son of Nun, a young man, didn't depart from the tent. Moses said to Yahweh, Listen, you tell me, bring up this people, but you haven't let me know whom you will send with me. Yet you have said, I know you by name, and you have also found favour in my sight. Now therefore, if I have found favour in your sight, please show me now your way, that I may know you so that I may find favour in your sight, and consider that this nation is your people. Yahweh answered, My presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. Moses protested, If your presence doesn't go with me, don't carry us up from here. For how would people know that I have found favour in your sight, I and your people? Isn't it that you go with us, so that we are separated, I and your people, from all the people, who are on the surface of the earth. He always said to Moses, I will do this thing also that you have spoken, for you have found favour in my sight, and I know you by name. Moses answered, Please show me your glory. Yahweh replied, I will make all my goodness pass before you. I will proclaim Yahweh's name before you. I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious. I will show mercy on whom I will show mercy. Yahweh continued, you cannot see my face, for man may not see me and live. Yahweh also said, Look, there is a place by me, and you shall stand on the rock. It will happen while my glory passes by, that I will put you in the cleft of the rock, and will cover you with my hand until I have passed by. Then I will take away my hand, and you will see my back, but my face shall not be seen. <laughs> 